It's a noise that has lawn residents up in arms, with this former playground now home to a flying fox colony. It's estimated that between five and 6,000 bats are now nesting in trees behind Belmore Road's shopping village, with the increasing numbers causing headaches for locals. And these beautiful trees being totally desecrated by these, these animals that are totally out of control. The risk of infection and, um, and also the noise pollution, to me it just is, it beggars belief that, that they are still here. The Mokeland City Council have been given state government approval to remove up to 23 affected trees, with those plans now put on hold as many of the female bats are expecting. The noise these flying foxes make is just part of the issue. There's also the mess they leave behind, along with the odour they emit that has locals furious. Some locals are even looking at relocating, though trying to entice a potential buyer is proving rather difficult. It is totally destroying the livelihood and the, the homes of the people who are around here. Nobody's going to want to buy them. I, in fact, I have actually spoken to some residents around here who would like to sell and nobody will buy simply because they can't take what's behind. With the playground off limits until the flying foxes are removed, the signs don't look good for a return to the parkland anytime soon. Where are the children going to play? Where are people going to come out of their houses? Where can they feel free to sit? Luke Hislop, Hunter Highlights.